hi so in this recording i will be talking about how we can find payback period firstly i will be telling you how you can find the payback period manually and in the second half of this video i will be telling you how you can write a vba code to find out the payback period but before that what exactly do we mean when we say payback period let's say in the beginning of my project i have invested 1000 rupees and from next period i am getting this as cash inflows so in the first period i received 250 from my project then 120 in the next year 180 so in what time period will i be able to recover this 1000 rupees so let me find a cdf i mean intuitionally with the help of mathematics we can see roughly at what time period we will be able to recover our investment then i will show you exact time period how to we find is equal to this is equal to 250 plus 1000 which means still i have to recover 750 rupees is equal to 120 i have received in this period so if i select this and double tap on it so roughly i will be getting payback period in between five and six but i am not sure exactly what time period so manually i can do is is equal to because i know it is between five and six five plus this because it is minus so i will make it as positive with the help of minus divided by this hit enter so i will be getting my payback period in 5.475 so this is how we do manually now let us do through vba coding and for vba code we don't need this cdf this is just for understanding purpose that's it so let's see you can go to developer in case if developer is not showing in your excel you can always go to file then to options then in ribbons customize ribbon you can always select developer and then hit ok in my case it is already available so i will be going to developer then to visual basic so i have written my code so i am simply copy pasting it you can take a pause then you can write the same so one thing i need to show you this we uh, why do we even write vba functions for example you must have seen is equal to sum so these all functions are inbuilt function which the excel has provided to us but is equal to let's say we want to create our own formulas then we can create formulas using this vba coding so i have written a function then i have written the name of the function i could have written anything payback period payback pd anything then i am say, saying user range as range user range can this all our name only so i will be selecting a range then this is dim cash flow so it is making a dimension cash flow i have written 20 in my case cash flows are 10 so 10 would also work but 9 won't work so it's always a good practice that you can mention more number of cash flows so it doesn't matter then dim years as integer so it will take years as an integer n is equal to user range dot rows because i want my excel to read in this format row wise in case if it would have been in this fashion let me show control alt b then i am transposing the values so now instead of rows i would have written columns dot count because i want excel to count it in a column fashion this is for loop command this will read the values here also user range dot cell in case if i'm working with the column 
this format then i would have written one comma i because this is for rows and this is for columns i want to make columns as variable that's why then this is a notation we start with the is equal to zero then what it will do it will add on the cash flows wherever it is finding is equal to zero then it will go to 100 100 is just a notation you could have written any number 11 12 19 1000 anything then this is the main formula payback period is equal to years minus 2 plus cash flow into years minus sum divided by cash flows here now now i will put is equal to payback period as you can see then because it is saying user range as range i will be selecting the range hit enter see we got exact same answer but in case if i write is equal to payback period and if i select this then this will throw me an error see now i will make changes here i will write dot columns see here. columns then i will write one comma i dot values now it will give me the answer is equal to payback period see now here it is showing error because now the code is written for column format and mind you always once you have written the vba code always go to file save as select your destination wherever you want to select let me say then always took excel macro enabled file and then hit save else you will lose all your codes so yeah that's it for the video in the next part we will see how we can find discounted payback period using both manual way as well as through vba coding